So, you're thinking about buying a home in Araby? Well, you've come to the right place. Today in this video, Natalie and I are gonna be showing you around the town of Araby. We're gonna be taking you to three different homes and three different price ranges so you can see what fits in your budget. And we're getting after it right now. your first time to the channel and you want to know anything and everything about living in South Louisiana then subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about what's going on with the current real estate market here in our area. I'm Carson. I'm Natalie. Carson and I are real estate agents and investors with Riker Realtors Lusher Properties and we love helping people just like you with the process of buying and selling real estate. If you're looking to sell your home we'll either help you sell it or buy it ourselves or if you're looking to move in the next week or in the next few months give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email so we can help you make that smooth move to south louisiana we were looking for a place to film in Araby for you guys and ended up just outside of Araby in the new orleans area and one of the local parks that they have here and just wanted to share some statistics about Araby before we hop in to the three different homes and three different price ranges so Araby is a smaller city located on the bank of the mississippi river um, it is, it's 4,500 in population, but it is rapidly growing and expanding. Lots of new infrastructure, lots of new construction. We're gonna be showing you some new construction homes today in Araby. Um, Natalie's gonna be in charge of that. But um, anyways, it's uh, like I said, it's rapidly expanding. It's made realtor.com's list of the, uh, the fastest growing suburbs in the United States. Your median home is gonna be a three bed, two bath, 1,856 square foot, which sells at about 350,000, and that leaves you at a hundred, about $190 per square foot. There's a lot of new construction over in that area, which is gonna be St. Claude's Heights, which is also known as the Heights, and Carolyn Park are two of the bigger subdivisions that are rapidly growing, and a lot of the new construction homes are in. Um, those are the two that we're going to be showing y'all today in this video. So one of the cons about living in Airby is that there's not much to do in Airby itself, which we actually highlight and go into detail in our other Airby videos that are coming up, which are going to be a pros and cons video and a Google Maps tour of Airby. And uh, we'll go more into detail there. But anyways, there's not much to do in Airby, which is of course why we had trouble finding a good place to film. There was one coffee shop that uh, we were gonna go to. I found it on tripadvisor.com, but that one ended up being closed and uh, we couldn't go to that one. So there isn't a coffee shop that I found in Araby to go to, but the good news in that is that you're only 10 minutes from everything, from the French Quarter, from the Central Business District, etc. You're only 10, 15 minutes max away from all that good stuff. Everything you're gonna need is in Chalmette or it's in New Orleans, which are both right there. Airby smack in the middle of both of those towns. So uh, there's not really anything that you're missing um, in that aspect. You've got everything you need, all your grocery stores, all your things to do is either gonna be in New Orleans or it's gonna be in Chalmette. A few things we like about Airby is that it is a smaller, safer town where you kind of know everybody. Um, the property taxes are much lower and you're not missing out on anything because you're so close to New Orleans. So the property taxes are about half of other parishes nearby. St. Tammany Parish taxes are about 0.81%. New Orleans, New Orleans is at about 0.78% and Araby will be about 0.46%, which is almost half of the other parishes. So now that you know a little bit more about Araby, let's hop back in the car and we'll take you to our first home and our first price range. This one's gonna be in Carolyn Park. All right guys, so our first house and our first price range is gonna be in Carolyn Park, which is where I am. There's all kinds of 
houses in this neighborhood with all kinds of different unique characteristics. There's brick, I mean, there's, there's blue colored houses. Here's a new construction. Let me see if I can zoom in. I'm gonna show you another house similar to this one right here later on. But yeah, guys, we've got blue, pink colored houses. There's a house for everybody in this neighborhood, truly. But um, the one I'm showing you today, I'm coming up on right now. Araby is a very, very small um, little, a quaint little area. And Carolyn Park is one of the best places to live in Araby. So this is the house I wanted to show you guys. This is our first house in our first price range. This one's listed for 235. It's a three bed, two bath, 1,475 square feet. So that puts the price per square foot at $160. Um, it was updated recently, new roof. Um, but anyways, that is our first house in our first price range. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to show you guys this neighborhood. I think Carolyn Park is a, an awesome place to live in Araby. So we're still in Carolyn Park for our second house and our second price range. But uh, one thing I wanted to tell you guys about Araby is that the price per square foot for these homes is a little bit higher. They're, the homes are more pricier. Um, there's gonna be less square footage really in general. There's not too many homes over 2,000 square feet, which is, um, I mean, if, if you're a family moving to the New Orleans area and you need a lot of square footage, we might be able to find you something. The, uh, the third house we're gonna show you is is uh, 2,500 square feet, but it, they're they're very, they're it's rare that you'll find one that's uh that's that big. But Natalie will show you that one. I'm excited for that one. But yeah, just something to keep in mind. It's a little pricier here in Araby just because it is such a nice, wonderful community, a nice area to live. But um, anyways, here is our second home in our second price range this one's listed for three hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars it's a four bed two bath eighteen hundred ninety three square feet which would put the price per square foot at a hundred and ninety so if we compare that to covington mandeville madisonville um that area is generally about 160 to 170. all right we're on to our third house now and our third price range and you don't want to miss this one. All right, guys, here we are at our third house and our third price range. This house is listed at 509,000. It's 2,500 square foot, which leaves us at $203 per square foot. It's a four bed, four bath, and it's in a subdivision called The Heights. It's a new construction. It's this one right here with the black uh, roof and linings with white. It's beautiful. It's got immaculate closet space. It's huge. And it's got shelves for folded clothes and storage. Um, it's got stainless steel appliances. Um, the white and stuff is finished with white. Um, it's got this cute little uh, carport for your car as well. There's, um, it's just beautiful. And it's uh, one of the newer builds. It's in the subdivision called the Heights. And there's a bunch of new builds around here that um, are similar to it. But it's one of the newer ones and it's just really beautiful, guys. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a market report of Araby. So right now there is 12 active homes on the market and 11 pending homes on the market. Pending meaning under contract, just waiting for a closing. 
So uh, of the active homes on the market, the median home is a three bed, two bath, 1,850 square foot home, and it's listed for about $357,000 which means the price per square foot is up at $193. And of the pending homes, the median home is a three bed, two bath, uh, 1,680 square foot home, and uh, current price is $290,000, putting the price per square foot at 176. So um, with that being said, the, uh, the current price is basically just the the listed price, we don't know what it's under contract for until it sells. But um, that's the uh, that's that's right about what's on the market right now for Airbnb. At the time of this recording, it's April, so we're gonna use April as our month to backtrack and determine appreciation for the Airbnb market. So from April 2019 to April 2020, the median three bed, three bed, two bath home was selling for about $250,000 or about $140 to $145 per square foot. Now the, the more important number to me is gonna be the, uh, the age, uh, the median age of these homes. So the median age back then I mean, only three, uh, three years ago, but it was 50 years old. And you'll see in just a second why that number is important to me. From April of 2020 to April of 2021, the median three bed, two bath home was selling for $271,000. Okay, so that means the price per square foot is now up to $161 per square foot. And the median age is 48, uh, 48 years. So that means we've lost two years, okay? I'm sure you're following at this point. The age of these homes seems to be getting younger. Now from April of 2021 to now, April of 2022, the median three bed, two bath home has been selling for $315,000 or $178 per square foot. So we've gone from 65 to 161 to 178 per square foot in three years. And the median age for these homes in this past year has been 43 years old. So as you can see, we've gone from 50 to 48 to 43. And the reason for that is because there's tons of new construction and Airbnb, they're building like crazy out there. And um, that is what causes the median age to, to go down for these homes. And that's a plus, that's a, that's one of the good things about Airbnb is that there is new construction available. Natalie showed you one of those beautiful, beautiful, white, luxurious style homes in Airbnb that they're building right now. There's a lot that look just like that home, but a little bit smaller. That's the biggest one we found on the market for, uh, for new construction at least. So we've seen appreciation of 26% in the Airbnb market since 2019, just three years ago. So that means if you would have bought that $250,000 median home in Airbnb three years ago, it would be worth 315 right now. That means you created $65,000 out of thin air just by living in and owning a home. This is why I invest in real estate. This is why you should invest in real estate and you're never too young to buy your first home because you can create money out of thin air. <laughs> well, that's gonna be all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog of Airby. And if you did, subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. And if you have any questions about anything I said in this video or whether you're looking to move in the next week or the next few months, whatever it is, guys, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom call with us, and we'll be happy to help you make that smooth move to South Louisiana. Thank you.